Welcome to Pagan Perspective. This is Megan, aka Severusry, and today is Friday. Hi YouTube, welcome to Pagan Perspective. I am Megan, aka Severusry, and I've switched days. It is now Friday. So I'm gonna be the new Friday host, and here I am. So I'm gonna start your weekend off. So we have a great question this week, and it's really long, <laughs> so the whole thing will be in the down bar below. Please forgive my voice, it is kind of dying on me. I had a crazy, crazy weekend. I had uh, Celebrate Samhain, and it was amazing, and shout out to Brianna and her mom, so I had a wonderful viewer. Uh, and her daughter come and see me while I was doing henna at Celebrate Samhain. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And I also then had last weekend, as you know, we had Halloween and Samhain up here in the Northeast. So we had so many trick-or-treaters Halloween night. And then I had my family over and everybody over for Samhain dinner the next day. It was crazy. Crazy. Oh my gosh. It was absolutely amazing and wonderful, but I also lost my voice because of it. So I've been really struggling this past week. So forgive me for that. So the question this week is all about kind of pagan labels in a way. It's this idea. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's really long, so I encourage you to read it. But basically the idea is this person came to us because they raised in a Christian home and now they're finding a new path. They're finding something that works for them and that really kind of speaks to what's in their heart and instead of what was just taught to them. And so now they are saying that for them, the label they're using is self-taught beliefs. It's great. They're also wondering if they fit into paganism and <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Yeah, of course you do. Of course you fit. I think that we get into this worry kind of place that says, well, we can or can't do something. And, and at least from my point of view, and not everyone would agree with me, but from my circle of people and those that I know, which is a pretty large pagan group in the Northeast, yeah, of course, if you want to say I am part of the pagan community? Absolutely. If you want to say you're pagan, go for it. The idea is pagans are, by definition, nature-based, earth-based religions that are non-Abrahamic. That's really the way it goes. Now, does that mean that all non-Abrahamic faiths are pagan? No. And that's okay too they can choose whether or not they want to describe themselves as being pagan. That's the most important thing in all this, is self-determination. If you want to be part of the pagan community and you say, yeah, I'm a pagan, and you could still, you know, be a Christo-pagan, you could still have certain elements that can get added in. The idea, though, is that the pagans in general are open, tolerant, they are nature-based, they want to work with the natural forces of the earth, and they believe that the different components that make up all of earth, earth, air, fire, water, spirit, all of those components are essential to life as we know it. That's, in general, kind of what a pagan thinks about. Now, within that, <laughs> there are a lot of differences between all the pagans However, we all work together. I think the most important thing to remember is that within the pagan community, there isn't a hierarchy. And I've noticed that a lot of Christians and Catholics and people who come from a very dogmatic faith, they tend to feel like there's going to be some sort of rule that they can't label themselves something until they've done something else. I mean, yeah, sure, if you're in an initiatory tradition, you know, and, and you're in a coven, sure, then maybe you can't call yourself something until you've reached that level. But calling yourself a pagan, that's your own self-determination. We don't have those sort of rules 
that some of the dogmatic Abrahamic faiths do. There is no overarching hierarchy. There's no one that's going to come down and say, oh, well, you can't say you're a pagan because of this. No, man. No. <laughs> you're a pagan. Be a pagan. It's awesome. And I welcome you into the community. And I think it's so amazing that you have found some beliefs that work for you. Self-taught beliefs. To me, those aren't just self-taught. Um, as many of you know, a, a good friend of mine, a dear person in my life is Raven Gramasi, and he's also a very well-known author. And he writes about, in many of his books, he writes about this idea that we have ancestral knowledge that's in our DNA. It's something that's passed down on us. It's something that we carry with us always. And so then when we take these rituals and these things that we believe we're just sort of creating on our own, well, we're not really. We're pulling from this well of ancestral knowledge, this cauldron of memory. It's one of his books. And we're pulling on that and being able to utilize everything that has come before us. And so I say it's not just self-taught, that your ancestors are speaking to you. And I think that that is just amazing and wonderful that you're actually in tune enough with yourself to listen. Kudos to you. And I really wish you the best of luck on this journey. And it's exciting. And welcome to the community. And blessed be. <laughs> so that is about it for today. I personally, I think many of you know what my labels are. I, I like certain labels. I dislike other labels. And... I am of the mind that if you want to label yourself, and that's not meant in a bad way, if you want to take on that label to say, yes, this is who I am, more power to you. Take it on, own it, and when it doesn't work for you, discard it. No one says that once you take a label that that is what you're, you know, you are for the rest of your life. No, no. If the label works for you in that moment, use it. When it stops working, find something new or choose no label. There are no rules on this. There's no hard and fast rules. The key is to be yourself. Be true to yourself. Make sure it feels right. Don't do anything that doesn't feel right. You have to trust your gut and your intuition. That's key. So I hope that you all have a very, very good week ahead of you. We're getting some killerly good weather right now. Oh, I cannot wait to get outside. It's literally like in the 60s right now in New England. I'm so excited. So until next week, guys, I will see you next Friday, my new time. And as always, blessed be.